Got Taylor on the brain today. I don't mean Taylor Swift. I uh, got a reseal transmission charge pump. This thing is grody. I did a little cleaning. Look at this. <laughs> oh boy. So, let's get that cleaned up. All right, cleaned up pretty decently. So we might be able to see where the leak's coming from. Let's do a little chicken. I think I found it. So we're gonna clean that off, recheck it. All right, I cleaned it off. Had some brake clean on it. That's it, that's probably it. Get the hoses undone. I flopped them out of the way. So let's go ahead and get ready to take this pump off. Um, it's put together in sections. So we'll take these bolts off, pull the pump off, then we can take the head off of it. Go by resealing it. A lot of times the worst part about taking these pumps off is it's too narrow in here to get a socket and uh, extensions and stuff because you got to fit it down in there. So I might just do something like this. Now the real trick. <laughs> Can't be getting the ones on the bottom. All right. You may not be able to exactly see what I'm doing, but let's see what we can do here. I hope I can get this socket in here just enough, at least to break it loose. That's my goal. <laughs> Can't see in there. That's not even the bad one. Well, shit. Okay. Let's try his wrenches again. Couple wrench it. Come on, baby. Let's get lucky today, hey? <clears throat> Feel like it's spreading them out. <clears throat> I'm gonna say not happening. Now let's go crow's foot. Crow's foot. Oh, hurry up that so you can reach in here like that and be able to put your ratchet out here where you can get some torque on it so I'm on it let's see if I can do anything with it oh, today was the day <laughs> that worked out sweet Might be able to get that with a wrench now. And I know you can't see where I'm at, but yeah, super comfortable. All right, just laying down in here. Okay, making progress. 
is now. Eighth turn at a time, baby. Come on. Bada boom. There we go. Here. And then it's behind it's behind this. So anyways, super fun to get to. First try. <clears throat> Sweet. Look at that. Look at that. Maybe we can use this to get in here. So I used to have to use the crow's foot to hold way. Alrighty, get the bolts off. There we go. And we are out. A couple of rings right there. One stayed on the housing. That one. So, anyways, make sure that stays there. There we go. Let's get this pump out of here and start tearing apart. Okay, got this out in the bench here. It's really dirty. Before I crack it open, I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna do something that even my wife says I don't do in my own house is, you know, clean. <laughs> Love you, darling, if you're watching. Okay. And if you're this far into the video, if you wouldn't mind putting a like on it for me. Uh, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And uh, go ahead and share this video and leave any comments you have for me down below. I uh, appreciate you watching. We'll make sure we're uber clean when we put it back together. Um, how do you come apart? Wait, because I don't see any hardware on this side. That's just a rough guess. I might wrap on it on this real quick and see if that comes off. That's gonna be a hard nose. So I'll take these off. See what hardware's underneath there. Okay, so got these all broke loose. Start taking these bolts out for this front section. This is where you really want to start paying attention to what you're doing because um, sometimes there's like spring-loaded reliefs and stuff, so. You uh, gotta make sure something comes apart. You know how to put it back together. Let's take this head off. Okay, so that's just a machine flat surface. We'll make sure we get that uber clean before we before we put it back together. Hopefully remember how this goes back together. <laughs> um, actually, since we're talking about that, one thing you can do if you're unsure, you can paint marker this stuff. You 
and you make it unique so it has to line up a specific way the other thing you can do if it you can scribe it which is a cast so you should be able to so just in case your mark comes off when you clean just like that so now I know where all the sections go anyways taking that apart I've taken stuff like this apart enough that usually I'm pretty in the know okay so that held that part together I am not entirely sure because there's no hardware in there holding it back the other way and the hardware that I need to get to is because these two sections are where it's leaking and that hardware is right there so I need this piece off and actually looking in there these don't line up with anything in there so I wonder if these go all the way through and just line up with this and it's the, the compression well that doesn't make any sense because what would seal those two sections sections to each other Well, actually, bolting through does, because that stud comes all the way through, let's say, through here, and we nut it on this side, so actually this gets held to that. So I'm thinking that these dowels are what's holding these two halves together. Yep, I feel fairly confident in that. So I need to find a way to hold this and smack it apart. So that was a decent guess. Okay, wah, wah, wah. I uh, put the pump back together because we did not have the right seals, unfortunately. Here we are a couple days later. Um, this pump, the rebuild kit I got was not right. So went ahead and put that all kind of away. It's like keep track of how it was put together and whatnot. So this piece, this is how we had it. Turns out you cannot buy this section's gasket for this piece here or this gasket right here. So, i to make sure I get this correct. So here's the new pump piece. New gasket. Because it's not the same exact piece, you never know. The, uh, the new machine part may not be identical to this machine part. This is a, uh, can't read no more, super scraper, just a carbide edge. You have to be real careful because you can take quite a bit of material off to not. Pay attention to what you're doing. A bit of a painted section. Let's we'll deform this till it comes out. like that. Now a new one goes in. Okay, then I gotta make sure we got a little lubricant on there. There we go.
Two large ones. I don't know which one's the right one. That's definitely not it. That's that one. That one doesn't sit very proud of that. I don't like that. Like these sit above the surface quite a bit. It's a good thing we looked because there actually is something that protrudes out into the pump to squeeze that down so that answers that question and so i just need to clean up around this just a little bit and we'll drop that pump in on separate put this on separate short and sweet version. I have to remember to use crow's feet to get this done. Uh, take this key. Unlock this old girl. No. Oh. Okay. It should be free. Took it for a test drive. We are leak free, at least for what we came here for. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, don't forget to uh, throw away your garbage, but most importantly, clean up all your tools. They paid you to get them all nasty. They can pay you to clean them up, put them away. It all goes part of the job. Don't forget that part, guys. Yep, just, you know, 10, 15 minutes, wipe everything down. It's a good way to catalog to make sure you didn't leave anything, for one. But it uh, keeps you from tracking your dirt back into your truck. I mean, I didn't wipe these down perfectly, but, you know, they're pretty clean. Clean enough to put back in the toolbox and not make a gigantic mess. So, don't forget that step, too. That's it for now. We are fixed-ish.